بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين My dear brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته And one of the most important lessons of the month of Ramadan when we fast and we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to become more patient in life. Fasting teaches us a sabr, patience. We have to be patient, we have to wait until a certain time that we can begin to consume food and drinks. And we also have to be patient until the end of the month in which we will reap the rewards of Eid al-Fitr or Hari Raya. And patience is actually one of the biggest yet most challenging virtues in Islam. You would find in the Quran many references. It's replete with references to patience as a very important virtue that Allah has prepared extraordinary rewards for. Now, obviously, we know how difficult it is to be patient. And there are different degrees of hardships or difficulties or tests that require patience. Some are quite straightforward, some are quite simple, but there are others in life that can be extremely challenging. And why is it very difficult to be patient? Because being patient is running against our human nature. It is about controlling our raw emotions of pain, of suffering, of anxiety. And that is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prepared great rewards because it's a virtue that if we are able to inculcate in ourselves, we will be better able to handle a lot of challenges in lives and we can continue and persevere to do good at all times. There's, well, there was an incident in which um, the Prophet وسلم, once visited a woman and she had just lost her child. When the Prophet came to her and visited her, she said, please go away from me, iyaka anni, uh, because you have not been tested like how I have been tested with the loss of my child. She did not know that it was the Prophet who visited her. She was in, full of sadness, full of uh, anxiety, full of worries she, and grief, and she just lost her child. But someone told her that it was the Prophet who visited you, so she felt um, she had to visit the Prophet and apologize for, for showing and expressing that sense of sadness as tested by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when she came to the Prophet, Prophet said, Innama sabru in the sadmatil ula. The real patience that is encouraged in our religion that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prepares the biggest rewards for is at the first stroke of calamity. That means when we first encounter difficulty, hardship, loss, pain, grief, and everything else. When we think about it, it's quite natural over a long period of time. As the saying goes, you know, time heals. Over a long period of time, we will be in a better position to deal with pain, loss, grief, and all other difficult things in life. But Islam encourages us to have patience even as we face a challenge for the first time. Now, how do we do that? Now, obviously, it's not something which is natural to us. It's not something which is easy. But there are teachings that can help us develop and train ourselves to be patient. The way to do that is to have spiritual resilience in ourselves. And spiritual resilience requires two things. One is a deliberate thoughtfulness, thinking about the bigger picture in life, thinking about the grand scheme of things. Yes, we may have lost something, we may even have lost someone, but in the grand scheme of life, in the grand scheme of things, that is one incident among many things that can happen to us in life. If we remain focused on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessings and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy and care for us in all other aspects of life, and we certainly will be better able to face those challenges. And second, spiritual resilience also requires a complete trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it is important that as we trust Allah, that we keep a positive mindset. In other words, 
we believe that even as we face a difficulty, we trust that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has something bigger for us, something better for us. We may not be able to see it immediately, but when we keep a positive mindset, we will certainly see improvements in our lives and things will get better over time. We need to maintain that even at the moment that we are tested, as-sadmatil ula, and to remind ourselves of that outcome which will eventually follow through if we are patient from the very first instance. We've gone through a huge challenge through the COVID-19 global pandemic over the course of a year. It is still a test for us as we speak right now, but it's through our patience and spiritual resilience that we have learned a lot of lessons of making ourselves stronger. And this can help us face future challenges, which may even be bigger than COVID-19. It has developed spiritual resilience in ourselves. It has taught us the importance of being patient, that as we wait and we do our part in keeping everyone safe, our situation will improve and we will get better. I hope that you can retain this and you can reflect on this in this month of Ramadan and hopefully we can become better and stronger Muslims and more resilient servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله العظيم لي ولكم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته